What is up, guys? Video Game James Poop again, back with more Banjo Kazooie. And in the last episode, we have tackled on both Freezy ZP and Gobi's Valley. And in this episode, we're gonna. die? Okay, so in this video, we're gonna tackle our Mad Monster Mansion, uh, which is this way. After this, and then. Hell, it's because I couldn't see. Alright, there we go. We're gonna go to Mad Monster Mansion, but before that, there's something you must do if you want 100% this. You must go this way first and go to that gate right there, and then just break it like that. There you go. Then you can go in. You must do that. It's a requirement. And whoa! Okay. All right, Mad Monster Mansion. Here we go. Spooky place indeed. Right, so we can destroy these windows and that door. I don't recommend going in, in through the door though. Because something will happen. Uh, and then there's nothing in there. There's absolutely nothing in here. It's just more feathers. And I'm not gonna go in there. But I will go this way. Oh, and we find more notes. Oh my god. As well as a Jinjo on top of here. Along with this destroy and a Mumbo token, and we took damage. Apparently that is dangerous. One. Ooh, okay. That was close. The skeleton almost got me and haunted me. Oh no. Okay. Then we're gonna go right here and find this thing right over here. Then we can get these notes here. As well as another mumbo token, as well as a door. And this leads us here. Stand on this. Stand on this. Stand on it. And we get to ride on it. And what we have to do here is we gotta write Banjo Kazooie, the name of the game, uh, onto these on these platforms. Uh, where's a J? Right there. So Banjo and Kazooie. Kazooie. Where's a K? Right there. It's right there. You gotta be careful of this purple ghost and all, and those grunty uh, buttons. Wait, what? Oh, Z! It's Z next. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Get over there quickly. Alright. And we can uh, get the O there, and then is there another O somewhere? Like, right, this one. And then the I and then the E. And then get that one quickly. Right, we'll wait. And then as we wait for this text box to disappear, I'll just get these notes. And then, boom! And then the jiggy will come out after the text box disappears, and then there's our first jiggy of Mad Monster Mansion. Just get that note there. Okay, so, uh, next we'll go... Oh! Skeleton. Oh my god. And then we shall. The stupid camera making me not get some of those notes. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We should go in here next. Ooh, run away from the bat! Oh, this section. We have barrels that say 1991, which is a reference to one of Rare's other games. An attic attack. Okay, get that uh, mumbo token there, and a jiggy right there. There is also a Jinjo here, but he's on the other side. And we're gonna get him in a moment. Right. Whoa! Okay. It's right there. There's nothing there, though. And you can kill these ghosts. It's just you're likely not one to sometimes. And it's in this one. A gold feather. And in this one, 
just another stop and swap egg, which we've already got. We thought we could not get them again. There's no way to delete your stop and swap. But the only way on N64 is, to, is with the game shark code. And that's pretty much it. If you get them. No! Whoa! Oh, we cannot use this room yet. Oh, yeah, I remember. We can kill these ready. We have to be a transformation to get that. There's the honeycomb piece down there. So... Get the notes over there. And what's in here? Oh! Another stop as well. As well as a toilet named Log of the Toilet. Yeah, it's a talking toilet, but you cannot use him yet. You have to be a transformation to go inside him and get flushed. So, and we're not gonna do all that yet. We're gonna get through this door right here. We have a painting of uh, Captain Black Eye there, who was originally in Drew. Before making an appearance in Banjo Tooie, actually. Um, uh, there, should be, there should be some notes around here. I believe it's this side. Yeah, this, they're there. Okay, I'll just get that. There we go. Nothing else in here. Cool. Whoa! Okay. Alright. No, stupid bat! I don't want COVID. Come on. Alright. Okay. And then we get this ginger right here. There's a small hole there. It looks like you could use a transformation there, but obviously there's no way to get the your transformation up here. But, whoa! Kill him. There we go. <laughs> Got ya! <laughs> Get, get out of here! Alright. There's no more notes around here. No. Oh, wait, yeah, there is. I just didn't see any. Okay. Did we do that side? Yeah, we did. Right, so now let's go on top of the roof. No, come on. Get in there! We see a church there. Oh, and. This is the mansion. Now, do not stand on the carpet, otherwise you'll wake this ghost up. It's named Napa, the sleeping ghost. There you go, just get to sneak the jiggy. Just like that. And we're inside, and it's Napa's inside story. It's like Bowser's inside story, but with Banjo Kazooie. And then we got the jiggy there. And then you're free to, you may now, jump on your carpet. Uh, uh, no, not the carpet. I mean the floor. I mean the floorboard. Not the carpet. Silly me. Um. Yeah, silly me. I, I don't know why I uh, mess things up sometimes. I mix things up. But still. Uh, now let's do this section where we go in the church. We're gonna ground pound this clock. And then you gotta rush there. You gotta rush because you gotta you gotta timer. You gotta rush there. You gotta be as fast as you can. And we made it. And we're in the church. <laughs> and we still had our uh, shoes there. That was funny. <laughs> what do we do in this church? You may ask. Well, well, let me show you. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! All right, there we go. Get another mumbo token. We're getting a lot of mumbo tokens here, but you don't have to collect all of them. But you can if you want. With me, this master hand or crazy hand kind of thing called Motsan. Motsan plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Attack him! Attack him! <laughs> okay, no. This is not Smash Brothers. Instead, it's a rhythm game can play right here in a church so right, and then we just we just gotta follow his fingers the way you tell is if he touches it then you can follow it 
but I I pretty much know. Well, I don't I don't remember them, but I do remember where his hands go and. Where Not bad, bear, but now watch me copy this tune, and amazed I'll be. Okay. Oh, it is there. Oh yeah. And then he goes for another black horn. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Then he goes for this one. Yeah. If you get a wrong one, I, I think you'll just... Now, I don't think nothing will happen. You'll still have to follow him. But if you fail to follow him, then you have to do this one again. I don't know if you have to do, like, the first part again, or if it's just the second part, but still. But still, um... Alright, right, there we go. Where's, where's the other hand going? Right there! Then he's gonna go to this black one. Right there. And then he disappears. Your music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. Okay. So we won this game. And we just gotta go up here. Just like that. Then we gotta. Okay, we got that. We got a jiggy in the church. So apparently Banjo's a Christian, I don't know. <laughs> right, so, let's, uh, we're gonna, then we're gonna fly. Now this part is kind of tricky. So first, of course, you have your... Uh, oh, god damn it. You have your honeycomb right there. Uh, honeycomb piece. Right here you have... You want to be careful here. You do not want to screw this up. Right. And then, we're going to switch. And that's where your jiggy will be. In the grunty eye. And then the music resets for some reason. And the way you get down, don't worry. You can do this. Where's the camera? Oh, there it is. <laughs> no full damage at all. I don't know if some of you already knew this technique or something, but still. It's a technique you can do. Yeah. Okay. Go on the church. See right here. And then. We'll kill him. There we go. Oh my god, we got that in time. There we go, we got everything here, so we don't need to come back. Like, sure, there was a extra life behind those organ uh, one of the things, but... I don't know what they're called, but we don't really need it. Oh, and then we have the infamous plants that say... Thank you. F you. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing they're supposed to say thank you. Although Nintendo mistakenly heard them as saying thank you. For some reason. Poop in the egg. There we go. All you gotta do is poop in them. And then you'll get a jiggy out of out of the last one. Alright. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Don't bounce off like that. There we go. And then we gotta. There we go, we got it. We got the jiggy. Just right there. That was the best burp. Oh, and again. And we notice the secret Banjo Kazooie uh, window there. Well, it's just simply a secret place you can enter. There's nothing. There's no. There's no jiggies in here or anything. It's just an uh, extra life and such. So you don't actually have to go in this room. But if you like me, you can do it. And then there's another gate we can open right here. And, and again, there's more stuff here. Oh, there's a ghost following us. And then you gotta be careful with these beehives because they'll follow you if you attack their hive. Because obviously that's where bees need to live. It's where bees live in their hives, and they obviously want. Um... Oh come on, stupid ghost! Get out of my way! Oh, we got our jiggy from the Jinjo. Oh, yeah. Jinjo! And <laughs> the music is still playing. I don't know if it's meant to do that or... 
or if it's just me hearing things sometimes, but still. Notes. Yeah. Ghost. And there we go here. This is like a maze kind of this. So you've got to be careful. But that's where we came out of. And that's the way out. Oh, it's just a. Um, okay. It was just a gold feather. Yeah, gold feather. I thought it was about. I was about, like all oh, golden eggs. Oh yeah, I imagine that. Imagine golden eggs in a uh, game. Imagine the amount of damage that'll do. Right, now we need to go back to the church. And we need to go back on top of the church. Specifically on a gravestone. On a ripstone. And then you gotta... Alright, there we go. And then, you get these notes on top of the church. Right here. Which is interesting. Oh god! And there's a mumbo token there, but not only that, there is also a jiggy you can get here, but I'll get that in a moment. First we'll get these notes! Whoa! Go back here. And then, right here there's a jiggy! There we go. Let me see these guys are walking there. And then, where we need to go next is... Well, I guess you don't really need to go down here, but... But there is a mumbo token right here. And I think... That is everything we need to do with normal banjo. Yeah, 15 minutes. Um, so I guess we can do our transformation now. Which you get right here. Also, do not stand on the these form things right here. You can take damage from them. And we just meet Mumbo's hut right here. Not only more... Uh, no, is there anything up here? I forgot if there was. Uh, just a gold feather. Okay. What, what, what do we transform into? This? Oh, we got a secret! <laughs> Washing machine! Um, spell... Not work. Oh my god. I got the secret. Oh my god. And then that's when you know you've got the secret, if it doesn't pay. And when it does pay, it means you don't get the secret. So, but we pay for them right now, so... We're a pumpkin. So, what do we do with this pumpkin now? Well, first off, we, um... Uh, do you remember that toilet? Uh, logo toilet? Well, we need to go in him. We need to go in... We need to get flushed in him. <laughs> so, um... Is it this one? Oh no, it's not this one, but there is a honeycomb piece there. And there is a feather there, but I don't need it. Um, and now for Logo the Toilet. Here we go. Here I come. Toilet time. Eww. Just go on in. And then. Happy landings, little one. Ew, he flushed us down the toilet. Ew. And there's poo everywhere. Ew. There's a Jiggy right there. Now, there's also a Mumbo token here, but notice it's not there. Well, that's because one of the Mumbo tokens I got, the one in the cellar room, uh, actually has the same number ID. I can't believe you went in there. Now wash your hands, filthy bear. <laughs> that's a funny dialogue. And then what we do next is go down here. Get flushed down there. Don't move to get the Jiggy right here. And then there's notes here. Okay. And then, lastly, there's a bucket you can go in. You gotta make sure um, it's uh, the gate's destroyed so you can go through here. Now, you can do this without the pumpkin, but it's easier with the pumpkin, so. So it's best to do it with the pumpkin, and the only hard thing is this. Just getting those notes. Notes here. Yeah. Right, and then the rest of the notes are in this uh, well. So we're just gonna. we just gonna go in here. We go inside here to get a jiggy there. And we got all jiggies! Congratulations! And then right here we get some notes right here. 
I mean, that should be all. Oh, and the mumble too. Now, you're going to be careful to not die here. But in case of it, I'm just going to die anyway. Then it's the quick way out. But we found all notes and that, everything. We've, do we've got everything done. We've done this in like 20 minutes. I'm just going to die here. And we just go to the entrance. Now, you need this pumpkin. Remember that gate we destroyed? Yes, you'll need the pumpkin to go through there. And, ugh, stupid rip guy, stop following me! Oh no! He's kicking my ass! Oh no! The brown Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's what he looks like. And then we're gonna... Freeze on the door. Uh, wait, no, not the door, on the stairs. And then we notice... Oh my god, Mumbo's in Grunty's lair as well. Oh my god. I'm right here. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. Oh, that's a good rhyme. And we gotta ground pound this. This coffin to destroy it, and then it rises the water up. Now this section is where we opened the uh, Mad Monster Mansion. The part where we were swimming before we went into into the area where we open up Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah, it's there. Right here, we turn back into a pumpkin so we can get out. And he'll say that again. Pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. Me get pot ready. Me get pot ready. <laughs> okay. Time for a pot pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, I tried to do my uh, uh, Boris and Johnson impression, but still. <laughs> Or the British PM. So, and then you need this pumpkin for another secret. Remember Cheeto that you access with the crocodile? Well, you also access another Cheeto with the pumpkin. Except so this one is slightly harder. Um, it does not involve opening gates, but you do need to go this way. Which is difficult because you don't know where you are sometimes, and sometimes it changes from darkness to lightness in this section. It's like a lava place, this. So what it's recommended to do is, if you if you can see your shadow, then that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna go through here, and then BOOM! We got it! There's also a Brentilda there, if you need her, but I don't think I really need some Brentildas. They are, they are like funny jokes, but still. Alright, well, there's Cheeto here. Cheeto bear in but I found once more. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, Grunty. And then the code is now Red Feathers. Uh, and you, you could probably guess what these codes are for, guys. And no, they're not for infinite ammunition, unfortunately, so... Uh, in fact, to get out of here quicker, let's die. Let's go right here! Into the fire! I'm in the fire! And then... We can... Alright, go right here. Now, and now you've got to make sure you're not on the edge of the um, of the platform there when you're using the Mongo, because you can still die. Alright. So we got Banjo there, right? Just like that. And then... Then we got to... Um, Whoa! No! DK! Go away from me, DK! Oh no! Then we're gonna open up the new area that we've unlocked. And this stage is the one I struggled on the most. <laughs> and I like how we swim out of there this time. Can I get any faster? No, I cannot. Alright. Then we're gonna go up here. Now, this is the next world. Uh, this is the next one, right here. But, you gotta do- Whoa, no! I have to go up there again! No! Alright. But you have to open this, uh, world. Uh, extra ways as well. It's not just, um, more jigsaw pieces, which we'll get to in a moment. But it's also, um... 
but it's also, um, you have to raise the water in everything as well, so you can get to the areas. Right, we get a gold feather there. Oh, and right here, we also get a cauldron. Right here. And it's right there, it's that cauldron. So we can always um, go back there if we need to. And then it's right here is where you'll find the uh, jigsaw pieces. This way, destroy that. And then, right here. And we access a boat. And, the, and it's the most annoying world in the game. Rusty Bucket Bay. God, I really hate this one. Because it's very hard. Especially on N64. It's even it's even worse. Because, you know, uh, when you die, if you have jiggies, you have uh, jiggies. I mean, if notes, you have to get them again. And all that. Whoa, we did the quick dive. And I'm going to go in there right now and stop going against them. And the Gorilla Chompers can hurt you underwater as well. Let's go in Rusty Bucket Bay then. Which is the hardest one for me, at least, in this game. I really hate this. So basically it's a boat, and I'm going to do the hardest section first. Uh, to get that out of the way. And this is, and it's in the boat itself. So... So it's, and you go in one of these, you gotta make sure it's not an enemy one. And then, and then you use that to shorten the fans. They can still go fast at certain times though. Uh, but it also makes them slow as well, so... Making them like a rhythm kind of uh, things. Uh, so then we need to go... Like, it's a cool stage, but it's only hard because this engine room. So the engine room is the worst part of this stage. We need to go up there to get a um, honeycomb piece right here. Thankfully, on N64 version, you can do a glitch, which you can do this faster, but, but it doesn't work on Xbox, I don't think. Okay. Oh, there we go. That was cool. I'm gonna get these notes right here. Now, I don't really recommend getting those uh, Mumbo tokens right there. Even though they are possible to get, but you'll likely die the moment you get them. So, we have these notes right here. Then, you gotta be careful right here and all. Grab on that, and then it slows these ones down. But you gotta hit another switch to actually, uh... You gotta... Oh, no! Are you serious? That's... This is what I mean by how hard it is because you got to do this all in one go if you die once i think you have to do the beginning part again which is annoying and you have to get the notes again if you're on nintendo 64 so thankfully i'm playing this xbox version so this is not a big deal then <laughs> he's jumping in the background there see him right there <laughs> Because uh, this is on the other side. Yeah, you have to do all this in one go. You fail, and I guess, I don't know. So this is what I recommend doing if you're playing the N64 version, at least, is to do this first, and then the other, and the then the other moments of just about the day. Then. Okay. We're gonna go up here. Right. Right, I don't have to collect the notes again properly, but I do have to do. I'm not gonna go through that one. Right, I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I would not recommend getting those Momo tokens unless. Unless you really need more, then I guess you could, but. I guess you can get them, but I don't really recommend getting them. Okay. 
and then you got to wait for this to slow down. And it's very hard, this. You gotta go through, there you go. And thankfully this Jiggy, you don't have to get again. So you, so I get that Jiggy now. And if you're going for that extra life, get that before hitting that switch. Hit the previous switch there. Yeah, this is very hard, guys. I'm not even joking. It, it, so, get that extra life. Yeah, because I definitely need it. Okay, so, what I recommend doing is, especially with those uh, rotating platforms, I'm going to wait for them. And now this time, you're on a timer, you're on a limit here. And I'm not going to bother getting those. Uh... Thankfully, these things have stopped, along with the fans. This one hasn't, though, so I'm still going to go for that, but it's not that big of a deal. Be high for just avoid. Touch my honey this time, and you'll be sorry. Oof. Sure would. There's gorilla chakras here. Yes, there are gorilla chakras there. And then we're gonna get that uh, jiggy right now. So. We're gonna get. We'll get these other notes uh, later. Oh, and this water, it's oily water. Gotta get that quickly. And then you gotta get out quickly as well. Because you can die if you're inside this. Alright, there we go. And then inside here is a purple ginger. And I'm gonna die shortly, because this, in this water, uh, this water, you actually can die quicker. Because even if you're above the water like this, you can still die. Yep, just like that. You can still die. Thankfully, I've done the engine ring uh, jiggy anyway, so I don't really need to uh, uh, do those things again. And I got that ginger out of the way as well, so. And there's also TNTs here. You gotta be careful of them as well. So, there's a lot of things you gotta be careful in this world. Because it's one of the hardest in the game. Oh boy. And so I'm gonna do these, so the non-boat sections first. We have these tolls as well. Just spit your eggs in. There's two right there. But we gotta spit them again in this one. There you go. Four of them. So then you can get those. Not only you can avoid the Gorilla Chomper, but also you can get uh, these... Uh, get the Mumbo Token and these uh, Gold Feathers if you want them. Okay. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, and you have Snack of the Shark again. So you gotta be careful here, especially. And we got that Ginger right there. You gotta go in there. Oh no, I'm gonna get eaten. Oh! I didn't! Okay. And because this is oily water, you do lose more air if you're swimming in it. Oh wait, where, where, where am I going? In fact, let's uh, dive in this water, shall we? Whee! <laughs> okay. It's not that fun in this game, but still. No, don't do that. Yeah, we gotta kill this flotsam here. Yeah, that's what these things are, flotsams. And we get a uh, honeycomb piece there. So... Oh, got that there. Alright, I'm just gonna ground pound him. There we go. Okay. Alright. And we're gonna get this... Uh, you can piece the right there. I'm gonna take damage, I guess. Yep. But it doesn't matter. Since, um... Alright, so we're gonna... I'm gonna... Dive right there! And then I'm gonna... Go in there! And there's no way I can get those notes. So, uh, get out of there, Banjo! It's dangerous here. So I'm going to do this boat section. Now, this is not hard, but I'm going to do this anyway. 
even though I said I would do the bonus stuff after. But this is one of the exceptions. Um, and it's this part right here. Alright, go. Oh, there we go. And then right here, and we snave, we save snorkeling right here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> My voice is so annoying for that uh, shark. Oh, wait, no, it's, I don't think it's a shark. I think it's a dolphin. Oh, get out of my way. And you cannot believe what these enemies are called as well. They're called Sea Man. No, please don't take that out of context. Of how you say it. Okay. 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 Then we need to go here so we can, um, we can go back this way and get those notes. Uh, there's nothing on there. We got that ginger already. And we go in here, and you must not fall off this part if you want to get this jiggy right here. And then right here, is where you destroy those other gorilla chompers right here. Wreck them. There we go. Okay. And then to get these notes right here, just kill this gorilla chomper, and then boom, you can get them right here. All right, right here. And then we're gonna get out of this part, and we're gonna go this side. Jinjo in this toxic pool, which is also green. So, you gotta be careful right here. Gah! You gotta really be careful here because you can take damage. You can sometimes even drop inside it for some reason. Uh, like a quick dive, but I don't know why it happens. Because apparently, quick diving also works by, like, on, on, on water that can damage you. And then you're still in your time trot form, and then sometimes you will... Whoa, we didn't even uh, take damage at all. Now, this is another boat part, but... But we can come back here anyway, so... Some of these, uh... Um, some of these parts also link to the boat, so... That's why you would do them if you're not going to do the boat first. Which is what I recommend. I don't really recommend doing the boat first. Gotta, gotta get there quickly! Oh, we got it. And why not? I'll go in there now. And then this is like a kitchen. Oh, come on. Super C. And then, right here, the oven is hot, but we got the, uh, we got a mumbo token out of it. We don't want it to get cooked. <laughs> then Grunty says that to us. Wow! And there's a gorilla chomper for eating as well, apparently. No idea why. I think that's all the notes here. Okay, um, now we need to, um, go on top of this, uh, this jail thing. And actually, I'm gonna do this part now as well on the boat. Um, this code. So the code is three, one, two, one. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I forgot it was there. The jiggy goes there. Alright. And then what I can do is... Uh... Okay. Is there any... Yeah, there is. I 
do this section as well to get that out of the way. Oh, this room. Yeah, I know this. We killed them both at the same time. Wow. Okay. Yeah, another Mumbo token there. And just eggs there. Oh, and another Seaman. Oh my god. Uh, there's nothing else here. Oh, of course it's that one there. It was just notes in there. Of course you can get killed from that if you're not careful. Alright, so we got everything from this side of the boat, at least. So I guess I can just uh, do this section now. There we go. Three. We can go across here. This time it's already, um... But, uh, stop changing the camera! Oh my god! It makes things harder when the camera changes. Oh my god. And in this room... There's a lot more... Uh, notes here. And there. Kill this Gorilla Chomper right there, and then this one... Oh my god. We go, we got him. And then him right there. There's nothing else here. And then, no, there isn't. There is nothing else here at all. And then. Now, this room is completely optional. Besides those notes there. And you can take damage when you touch them and all. And you just get an extra life here. That's all you get here. Nothing else besides an extra life, some eggs, and some notes. Besides that, you don't get a jiggy. So, it's weird. And then we need to go on top of here, to go in this one right here. We find a blue ginger right here. And can I please kill him? Oh, and there's a Mumbo token up there as well. And we got 25. That is the exact amount of our last um, last transformation in the game, which is not in Rusty Bucket Bay, but it is in the next one. All right. Oh, we have to go on the other side now. Okay. But how about I try this trick instead? Hold on, hold on. There we go! We don't even need to use that doll. <laughs> but we need to use this one, though, so we can uh, go inside it like that. Ah, no, we can just um, use that to get another Jinjo. So, which is right over there. That. And we got a Jiggy. We got a Jiggy. From a Jinjo. Alright, and then we're gonna... Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna... Then... We're not only get these notes, but also... We're gonna... Get this right here, and then... Boom! We destroyed something. We can go inside it, believe it or not. No, you won't die. If you go in there, it's not the death of the boat or anything. Okay. Okay, right. One. Right, there's a gritty switch right there, which is very difficult to get. Three, two, one, go! Yes, I got that. And you get a jiggy right there. Alright, uh, I'll actually go in the uh, thingy now. <laughs> and fall down there. And then this boss right here is Boom. Uh, boombox. Boss Boombox. It is. <laughs> what is he doing to me? Oh my god. Now I just recommend using. Um, Feathers, gold feathers here. 
There we go. Get the last cheeky man. Oh, you splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it really. Huh. Because it's not really useful for you. Uh, cheekies. So, that is our other boss fight. Okay. Now, I believe there is something behind where the grunty switch was at all as well. I believe there's something behind there as well. Ah, uh, it's just a normal token. And some feathers. Not really useful, but... Eh. Oh, no! Okay, now next. Um, of course, we're not going in there again. No, no, no. We're not going in there. But we can go in here. And then right here. There's another Mumbo token. I, you don't, I don't really need to get more Mumbo tokens, but I'll get them anyway. Because they're fun to collect. Like, they're not like 100% requirement or anything. It's only, you only need like a certain amount for paying Mumbo. That's about it. You don't really need them. Besides Mumbo transformations, you don't actually need them. But what you do to finish the game uh, for the pumpkin transformation one, you'll definitely need that one. Uh, uh, because to get to Rusty Bucket Bay, you need the pumpkin to then rise the water. So, uh, come on! Stop changing the camera! That's another thing that we need to stop having, is camera changing. Because it's so annoying. And it's still annoying today. Oh my god. We can, uh, we can get a few notes up here as well. Let me climb up this. So this one. Oh, whoa, that was so close. If I if I fall down there, then oh, it's just a mumbo token in this one. Not useful for me, but still. It's this one that is though. This one contains a jiggy. Good. Is this our last one? I forgot if it was. No, there's two more. Where were the two more then? I know where the notes were. Perhaps they're in the areas where the notes are. Alright, let's go down here. No, no! Banjo! Not invincibility. Oh, the stop and swap room, that's it. There's a jiggy in there. <laughs> and I went on to the sea man. Oh my god. Right, there we go. Got that jiggy right there. Of course, the room where the stop and swap egg is. And there's one more. There's gold feathers here as well. There we go. We got it. And then there's one more jiggy we need to get. Whoa, okay. No! Don't eat me! Oh, this room. Right. So this is where the other notes are. We need to find the other... Get out of my way! And here's a fun secret here as well. Uh, get up here. Eh, uh, Conker! From Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> and he's just... It's a drunk animation. It looks like. Yeah. Interesting. Well, in the 360 version, it's a Conker. In the N64 version, it's actually a Conker's good friend, Barry. Uh, who is also uh, in uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day. But not the way she was like in uh, Pocket Tales, which is the family-friendly Conker. And then Bad Fur Day is the uh, adult Conker. Okay, uh, something else I need to go in. Oh, was it this? No, we went in there. Have I... No, we went in there. Oh god. What was it? I need to go in now. I, I know that. I know I have one more jiggy left. I know it, but I forgot which one it was. Oh, those notes there. Oh yeah. Now we have all the notes, but it's the jiggy thing. Obviously, that's the engine room opener. Well, the fans for the um, engine room. Where's the last jiggy? Okay. 
Unless I missed one from the Snorkel, uh, the Snorkel character. I'll see. Because I know where all Jiggies are, I just sometimes forget which one I miss. Uh, I don't know if it was the Snorkel one or not. Oh, it was! Okay. It was. And in fact, I'll just drown here as well. We can have a look under the, uh, uh ship if we want as well. See the under the ship. And fun fact, there's actually a glitch where you can go to the boss boom box uh, fight early as well. Uh, and it involves glitching through the ship. Uh, not like this, but still, it, it would be cool. And yeah, let's die under the ship, shall we? Ship, save me! And we're just gonna get out like that. Alright, that'll be about it for today. Although first, before I end the video off, I'll do something else around this area. Not only we're gonna get this jiggy, but also uh, I'm gonna get we're gonna get another Cheeto secret. Okay, we get another Cheeto secret as well. Then we'll end it off. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna go in the water there, and there's another note door we can use as well. That's how we get to the other area. Oh, oh god, my throat is hot. It's all from the pizza I had. Oh god. <sighs> Alright. So then, we can really go high now. Up here. We can go up here. And then there's another- there's our last Cheeto in the game. Very good getting good at finding Cheeto. <laughs> And then it's our last uh, cheat code as well, here. Yeah. So... Find Cheeto, which will... And now the code is Gold Feathers. And then you you have to enter these codes in Treasure Trove Cove. And I'll do that in the next video. So that'll be it for today, guys. So next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we will tackle on the next area. Not We'll, we'll enter the cheat codes first. Because the way we unlock this area is very strange. Uh, but we'll look at that in the next video. So I shall see you guys next time. Video Game Jam Poops out. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still in there. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!